Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. I think everybody is pretty familiar with this stuff. Chainmail, or just mail. The rings come in about a billion variations. You've got this stuff, which is galvanized steel. It's stinky and pretty heavy. You've got this. It's the same ring size, but it's aluminum, so it's really light. This is also aluminum, but a smaller ring size. You can make coifs or hoods. And you can also do jewelry or some earrings or bracelets. There are a whole bunch of different patterns or weaves that you can do. This one is called Full Persian and it's easily my favorite of the rope weaves. I've got a ton of rings here, different sizes, different metals. I got all this stuff from these guys, the Ring Lord. Great company with great prices. If you're interested in mail, I highly recommend them. So for this video, we're going to do good old classic European 4-in-1. I'm out of aluminum ring, so we'll use the Galvi. It's dirty, stinky, and not as shiny, but it is strong. If you're going to do jewelry, you'll want some of these little round type pliers. For heavier stuff, you need two sets of real pliers, preferably ones without teeth. I like to hold the bigger set in my left hand and work with the set in my right hand. Okay, so first off, when you're opening and closing these, you want to keep the pliers as close to the cut as possible. When you go to close it, push it past where it goes, and then push it closed a little bit, and it should spring back a little bit on its own, depending on what metal type you're using. So go ahead and set up a bunch that you've pre-closed and pre-opened. Real quick first though, rings are measured in two ways. One way is the inner diameter, or ID, and the gauge, which is the wire thickness. I forgot exactly, but I'm pretty sure these are 3 8 of an inch ID, or inner diameter, and 14 gauge galvanized steel. Once you have enough of these for your project, or at least that session, the first thing to do is to put four closed rings into one open ring. This is why it's four and one. Close up that ring, then take another open one, grab two closed ones, put them on your open one, Hook the open one and two from the first group you made and repeat that until you have a chain that's a series of one link and then two links alternating back and forth as long as you want it to go. To expand it down the link direction, just pick it up and make sure all of the rings are sitting nice and flat. You could do it laying on the table too. Take an open ring and put two closed ones in it. Then go under the first ring and over the next one so that your pattern follows what's going on above it. Then continue that row. Again, make sure all the links are laying flat. Grab only one closed ring and an open one. Put the open one through the free hanging ring. That's the one hanging on by only one. The one above it, and then again through the one beside it. That's how you extend in this direction. To extend it the other way, it's basically the same idea. You start with two and one, and then you go to one and one for the whole rest of the thing. Make sure your links are flat. Go up underneath two, making sure your pattern is all flowing. Grab one closed and one open. Go down through the free hanging ring, then up through the two on the left, or reverse that if you're going the other way. So. Just uh, keep doing that until um, you die, and you'll eventually have this. One thing to keep in mind if you're making a vest or a halberd or something is the direction of the weave. It will expand like this, like fish scales basically, but not this way. Not really. That's why the scale pattern of it is always up and down. On a sleeve, it goes this direction with the scales going down the arm. So there you go guys, some simple mail. Let me know if you'd like to see other patterns. If you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or Coffee. But as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.